I'm Brian Brown with Weiss Fire. I'm the National Sales Director for Draft Commander. But what I have here today is our hose test trailer. So this is our first hose test trailer that we've been able to produce and actually sell to a customer. So this is quite the unique um, uh, trailer that we have here, very different than a Draft Commander. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick walkthrough. Right now, we've got two separate manifolds that we do on this trailer and there's an upper and there's a lower manifold. That allows you to pressure test your hose at two different pressures. So if you wanna do a five inch hose at 200 PSI, you could do it down below. If you wanna do your uh, three inch or two and a half inch hose at 400 PSI and so on and so on, you could do it at the different pressures. You can also do it with the different valves up top too. So even though you have one manifold, you could stop the, five inch at 200 PSI, and you could stop the three inch at 400 PSI, which we have done here today. Works out really well. The nice thing about it is it's super easy to use. We've got an inlet line from a hydrant that provides water to either manifold. You could do it upper, and you can do it the lower manifolds. Then up above, we've actually got bleeders for both manifolds. The bleeders allow the air to get out once you fill the manifold and the hoses. We've also got bleeder caps at the end of the hoses, so that way we're able to evacuate all the air. Down below those are the drain valves, so when we're finished, we're actually going to open those drain valves, relieve the pressure, and then we're going to take all the pressure off the hoses and open all the valves, and then we're going to drain everything out of it really really easy to use we've got four jacks on this so once you set it up you can actually drop each one of the jacks to stabilize the trailer which includes the front trailer jack and then once we do that we've got two compartments one on each side then as we go around it's really really easy to use we've got the spare tire up front and then we have another compartment on the other side that will allow you to store additional equipment, additional hose and additional tools and or the personal gear of the firefighters actually doing the hose test. As we get up into the top of the trailer, there's a lot of room to work up here. So we have a hose rack here for your additional hose and or when you've tested hose and you've taken it out of service, you can actually put it in the hose rack up top here. We have the hose test pump. We'll actually go up to 750 PSI. When we look at the top of the console, we're gonna see multiple uh, valves with uh, gauges and also all the labels for that. We have the inlet valve that actually fills both manifolds. So we wanna fill this manifold, we'll open this valve. Once full, we'll close that. If we wanna open the lower manifold, we're gonna open this. Once it's full, we're gonna close that. The same thing with the shutoff valves. Once we have the pressure up where we want it on each of those, we will close these valves and then we will establish the pressure on our hoses. So right now we have two pressure regulators, one for uh, host test manifold number one, which is the lower one, and host test manifold number two, which is the upper one. Right now we're using the upper manifold and we just had 300 PSI set on that and we stopped discharge number one at 200 PSI for the five inch hose and then we stopped all the others at the 300 PSI. So once we get across that, then we're gonna be looking for leakage, we're gonna be looking for coupling separation, and we're also gonna be looking at any drop, uh, major drops that we have in the pressure. So once we're done with that and we've tested our, our hose, then we're able to bleed them at the end, open the valves, open the drains, and we're able to uh, take that hose off and then we could do it again. Can we put uh, 300 feet on each discharge? Yes, we can. So right now, as we have it here, we actually have 12 outlets. So once we have uh, 300 feet of hose on there, realistically, you could actually uh, hose test 3,600 feet of hose at one time take it all down, uh, roll it up, put it away, do another uh, 3,600 feet. 
any kind of anytime you get new hose you can actually use the hose test trailer to do new hose so that's our latest greatest from a uh, wise fire not only the draft commander and the draft commander trainer but now our hose test trailer so again my name is brian brown if you have any questions feel free to email me at brian.b at wisefiresafety.com or 785-577-2289